Yes, my friend. This is mine. And it's not running good. It runs, and then you adjust it, and it runs, and you adjust it. And uh, I don't know if it's a bulb. I guess I should start it and spray it with some uh, uh, card cleaners to see if the seal has a, or if there's a seal on the bulb and all that stuff. So let's put her in the old, lately this has become the uh, weed whacker vice, right? Stick her in there so we don't kill anything. And uh, I'll be right there. No, I don't prepare for my videos. Okay, let's start this bugger up. Prime it. Full choke. See, it's okay. First thing I'm going to do is tighten things up, right? That just might make all the difference in the world, because the bulb seems to pump. Excuse me, I got a weak voice today, so I'm just tightening up the two screws around the around the primer bulb, and then we are going to take out. Did I lose that sucker already? <laughs> I'll be right back. <laughs> that little guy came out of here and disappeared. Okay, back to the subject at hand. I'm going to just take the air filter off and tighten up the bolts that hold the air filter down. Don't forget this thing's been... I fixed this thing probably eight years ago. Probably put a diaphragm and a thing and a screen, all the usual uh, things. Okay, I'm going to just use that same bit and we're going to tighten it up. Is that dripping fuel? It is. The cap drips fuel. Isn't that sad? I'm going to start it up again. Oh, tilt it a little bit. Okay. And I may need adjusting after this, right? Because I had it turned out super rich.
Okay, so I got it running just on the rich side between the rich and the lean, turning out, turning it out for rich and in left and right for lean. And before when I did this, when I pumped the bubble, the priming bubble or the purging bubble, it should be called. Uh, I tighten these two screws up right there. And now I don't, it won't even change the way it runs when I spray carb spray on it. Uh. going to go put a different gas cap on there now and we'll give it another try. I tell you this you know these are really really cheap weed whackers but this one must have been made on the Wednesday uh, in March not during the, the Friday before the Christmas party because it has been really good guys but this bugger has been leaking and you'll see that right in there not everybody knows this but right inside there, there's a duckbill valve that lets air in and not out. Open, close. Open, open. And sometimes these leak. See that? But I've got a few of these around. So I'm just going to go swap one out with the other machine. I've got this identical machine on spare. That runs! I should probably try it again with the filter, air filter on, because the air filter acts like a mild choke. I've, I think every time I work on a piece of stuff, no matter whatever it is, small engine, two stroke, four stroke, I, I mentioned that the air cleaner is like a choke. Okay, let's do this. A little choke we need. Try it. Just gonna change out the gas cap. That's all. Thanks a lot for watching this short little guys. Hello, Bruce here. Well, found the problem. This is the machine that I. This is the cap I had on the other machine. Never even looked, eh? See that? There's a little O-ring on there. This is the cap from my machine. No O-ring. So I think we. Solved our leaky gas problem. And I've got a couple boxes of these. Hmm. Should I use the whole cap? They're both good. I can, don't laugh, I can blow, blow into the tank. But I can't suck on that one. Both are the same. I'm going to use the whole cap. If I can. Okay, thanks for that guy. Okay?